I heard Mr. D talk a little bit about the fall wetworms. Will they harm or kill my persimmon tree? And Peter might know this. You think it'll harm the persimmon tree, Peter? No, what I do don't think? have one, but it won't kill it. It won't kill it. No. Mm -hmm. Anything to add to that, Wes? It won't kill it, will it? It just yeah, the, looks the, unsightly. The fall webworm comes in, you know, hence its name, in the fall. In the fall. And the the, the foliage has, has already done its job. It's, it's done. The photosynthesis done. process is done. It's the, done. We're going to hit the cool season soon. The leaves are going to fall off. Take for This is a scenario that I use with the pecan trees. Pecan trees will have a large nut crop. Okay. The, the fall webworms are feeding on the foliage. They're reducing the weight on that branch. They're oh. going to cause the, the less limb breakage with the heavy crop. Never thought of it like that. I had to find a positive side okay. to this. Okay, all, right. so all right. They can, I, be, mess, they, they can be messy over a patio. Yeah, uh, yeah. that I know for sure. Yeah, they can but yeah, they just look unsightly if you can reach it. You know, yeah. you can open the web up, let Mother Nature you know, yes. take care of that I think I told you earlier, I was climbing my tree, of my, my pecan tree in my backyard, doing some fall pruning. And uh, and I knew there was bees up there, and inside that that web of the caterpillar was a large yellow jacket nest. Oh. I didn't panic. I just left the tree, and I'm going to let the the wasps do their thing. They're they're feeding on the caterpillar. Yeah, it it's care. a natural process. It is a natural process. All right, so it will not harm your persimmon tree. Yeah. Okay, it just looks unsightly.